Today it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Um, IIT, uh, as you all know, is, is, is one of the biggest platforms around the world. Uh, originally with five, then to seven. Mm -hmm. Now you have 16. Yeah, a little more, I think. Now it may be 21. Okay. Yeah. And you run the Hyderabad campus. Campus, yes. Okay. So Hyderabad has been known for its uh, IT innovation, IT focus, uh, a lot of talent pool. Um, but students come from across the country. Yeah. Is there a particular emphasis you lay on the campus? See, our emphasis is more broad-based. It's not discipline-based in the sense fundamental emphasis is on being creative, being innovative, doing something which is different. Also, the other emphasis is that you must try something new. If you fail, so be it. Because failures are part of life. So in some sense, we try to inculcate that. Now, how successful we are, that only time will tell. Okay. So we give a lot of freedom to our students to experiment. To, we have a lot of project work where they work with their hands. Obviously, when you do things with your hand, you're bound to kind of make mistakes and things like that. And But we give them opportunity to bounce back. Now that, I would say, is the, is the, the key thing you know, that we have. You raise mm -hmm. a good point, uh, you know, failure is yeah. good. Uh, I think the mindset must have already changed with the new generation because people who are coming to you have not really, you know, gotten... No, not really. Because, see, the students who come to us have always been successful. In fact, for us, the double task. They are typically toppers in their class. Otherwise, you don't get into IIT. And after that, they have to top JE. Okay. So to get into IIT, the filters are so strong that you have to have had a pretty much a successful beginning. But once you get into IIT, what happens is now we are competing among the tops. Right. So failures do occur. The guy who was number one in his class suddenly happens to be number 30th in the class, or maybe even number 100 in the class. And he has to now cope with that. That yes, wow. there are 99 guys who are better than me, okay? Because they have come from, as you correctly said, from across the country, okay? And number one in a particular school and number one in another school doesn't mean that both are going to be number one at IIT. And the shuffling takes place. You may be in the beginning at 100. If you work hard, you kind of understand, you know, do things properly. Maybe next time around you could be number 30th. So now what happens is that this is where occasionally, not too often, the students kind of get a little uh, disturbed and we have to kind of take care of that. Failure is part of life. What I'm teaching them is how to handle failures. I, I, I get yeah. your point. That's what yeah. I was trying That's to convey okay. yeah. is to accept failure as the next stepping stone. Yeah, I mean, it's, but you the learn. Acceptability is, no, is, is I, to me, failure is also an equal teacher right. as successes. So I would put it that way rather than accepting it or handling it that, hey, I've learned something from it. Next time I'm going to do better. That is interesting to know because uh, here is a different culture. You grow up with that environment. Yeah. Uh, there, for a successful person to accept that is even more difficult. So, yeah. what? How do you inculcate that? I'm trying to. It, that's what I'm saying. See, it's not done in a very systematic manner, because see, there are two kinds of methods by which you educate people. One is a structured method, which is like classroom, homeworks, sure. quizzes, exams, and the other is unstructured. So, this is the unstructured method. You know, so it's, it's through conversation, through just talking, you know, to kind of, hey, it's okay, you know, don't worry. So I, I think there is, I would say in an IIT environment, almost 30% of the education, maybe even more sometimes, you know, maybe 35%, is unstructured. Like what you learn in various hobby clubs, okay, I may be a member of the uh, astronomy club. Now that's an unstructured education. I read something on my own, try, things don't work, it's okay. I'm a member of the photography club, I'm a member of the drama club, I'm a member of the, you know. So there it's totally unstructured, but I'm learning. I'm learning teamwork. I'm learning some kind of discipline that I have to do something and then have it ready on time, etc., etc. So I would say that this, what I talked about earlier, is part of the unstructured learning. Even within the IIT system, there must be competition between campuses, which are healthy competition yes. and the competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how do students pick which campus to go to? Oh, that is a very difficult thing. Uh, it depends. Uh, there are certain students who pick a campus. It's like today, IIT Bombay is really ruling the roost, you know, so they'll say it doesn't matter what department I get, I'm going to go to IIT Bombay. Uh, there are many who go by the department that look, I want electrical engineering or I want mechanical engineering and they start giving the choices. So wherever they get mechanical engineering, they'll go there. So I think you have both kinds of people. The third is perhaps quite often they want to be in some proximity to their family. So there's a third criteria. So in some sense they do a mix and match among these three kind of criteria. 
the parameter of success for IITNs is, I know, what pay package do they land by the time they're in the last year? Yes and no, that's what the media normally emphasizes, but that's not necessarily the parameter of success. You know, I think it, it's a very complex thing. Uh, uh, quite often you'll find the most popular guy is not necessarily the guy who got the biggest pay package. Okay? The people, you know, he, he's probably the team leader and the people look up to him, you know, hey, you're the guy who's going to tell us what, how to go about it. So I think the parameters of success fundamentally is doing well at whatever you do. I, w I would put it in a very simplistic manner. Yes, and once you do well, you're going to get a reasonably good package. Some may get a big package, some may get a small package. Also, they know that this pay package does not define next 50 years of your life. Things change. The world is dynamic. You have been through a dynamic system. You know, so tomorrow he's there, but you know, uh, today he has the package. Tomorrow, who knows? I may make it big. You know, I may be an entrepreneur, starting small, you know, struggling, making ends meet. But five years or ten years down the road, who knows? My kind of company gets acquired, and I may be making much, much more, more than the guy who had a big pay package, and who's still at the same job. As the mm -hmm. director of the campus, uh, how do you see your role different from other institutes? Oh, I said for a new IIT, the roles are very different because A, we have to play multiple roles since you don't have that huge team. So uh, as I was saying, in, in some sense, it's like a startup. You know, the CEO of a startup will clean the table and also do some of the most complex programming and do HR management. So uh, for a new IIT director, it's something like that. It's a fairly complex kind of piece of activity. You're involved in almost everything. But the hardest thing, in my opinion, is to create that culture within the institute. Okay, right from the beginning that, hey, we want to focus on research, we want to focus on invention, we want to focus on creativity, and constantly that we have to keep reinventing ourselves. You know, something similar to what John Chambers talked about, that you have to keep reinventing. If not, you'll become a dinosaur, you'll get fossilized. Okay. So that is the culture that one needs to inculcate in the both the faculty, more so, and the students also. Faculty are there for the long run, so you really need to work hard at it. Students, of course, are there for four years, sometimes you know, three years. The PhD students, maybe five years. Masters, two years, etc. So that, that's how I would put it. You know. Thank you there. I okay. appreciate you coming and sharing sure. your thoughts. Yeah. Thank you so much.